welcome to another video where we learn division in different way so here in this video we'll start dividing a number by 10 so let us learn what will be the answer and how quickly we can find out the result in this number 39 we have two place one is the unit place or ones place and one is tens place so just remember this this 9 is in ones place and 3 is in tens place so let us divide 5 how many times coming in the 3 no 5 is not coming in the 3 so I have to take the two number two digit 3 and 9 and it will make 39 so in 39 7 times 5 is coming. In this example, I am just showing how we can do division with number other than 10. Then we will go to the 10. So, 5 7 is 35. And we will get 4. So, here dividend is 39 quotient is 7 and remainder is 4 so now let us divide the same number with 10 so now you can see if I divide then it will be 3 into 10 is 30 and the remainder will be 9 so here dividend is 39 quotient is 3 and remainder is 9 so if I take the number 39 so you can see if I remove the one place that is 9 from here then we will get the quotient 3 easily so if I separate 9, the ones, the number which is there in the one place, uh, that will be my remainder and other digit will be my quotient. So if I take 246, so in this number we have 6 is there in one's place. So if I remove 6, or separate it then it will be 24 and 6 so 6 will be my remainder and 24 will be my quotient if I am dividing this number with 10 so this is very easy way to find out the answer let us divide a number by 100 let us divide a number with 100 so let us start with 3 so can i divide 3 by 100 no so let us take that second digit 36 so 36 can i divide 36 by 100 no we cannot do so let us take another digit that is 9 so 369 this is three digit number so in 369 100 I will find 3 times so 3 into 100 I will write 300 and then so if I sub subtract this I will get 69 and 7 will come down so altogether the number which is with me is 697 now in 697 100 is there 6 times so 600 so 697 minus 600 the answer will be 97 so we have dividend 3697 we have quotient as 36 
and remainder as 97 so if i see the dividend you can clearly see ones place and tens place if i separate from the number so if i separate 3697 if i separate from 3696 that ones place and tens place sep separately if i write then and the remaining if i write separately then this 97 is our remainder and 36 is our quotient so if i write another number 294 not 294 let me make it big okay so this is my number and if i am dividing it with 100 then what will be the quotient and what will be the remainder it is very easy to find just separate the ones place and tens place the digit which are there in ones place and tens place you separately write that is 85 i am writing separately and rest of the digit let, let me write together to 2947 i am writing it separately so now that means that we have quotient as 2947 and remainder as 85 so this is how you can easily find the remainder and the quotient if you are dividing by 100 so here 234 i am dividing by 10 so here the quotient will be what will be the quotient for that i have what i have to do i have to write separately the ones a number which is there in one place that is 4 and the rest other separately that is 24 so the quotient will be 23 and our remainder will be 4 if i am dividing a number with 100 then let me write the ones the digit in one's place and in 10 place together so 75 i am writing here and rest of the digits together let me write 463 so from here we can say quotient equal to 463 and remainder is equal to 75 so can you guess what will be the answer of this so if you see the here you will get one pattern okay so with this pattern if i have to see then i have to because there are three zeros so from the right side i have to take three number three digit so nine six four this i will write separately 964 and the remaining three digit i will be writing separately 469 so this 469 is my quotient and 964 is my remainder so this is the easiest way how i can find out the remainder the quotient of any problem if i am dividing with 10 100 and 1000 it becomes very easy to find out the quotient and remainder hope the video is clear to you please subscribe to the channel and share the video with all the people all the students who is learning division thank you very much